morning guys. Hello guys. <laughs> Welcome to another vlog. I'm very shiny because I've got Factor 50 on all over. He's not, he's just a sweaty yet. I'm drenched in Factor 50, Factor 30 all over my arms and uh, all over my legs. I've got walking boots on. Because why Nick? Because we're going walking. We're going on an eight mile beach walk. Eight and a half. Um, I'm only going because Nick's promised me that there's ice cream stops on the way. Yes? Yeah. Um, One. What? One. Our end destination is Bridlington. Is that right? Have you got money for the um, taxi back? We're getting the bus, not getting the bloody taxi. Another bus ride? Mm. Ooh. Better have Wi-Fi this time. So yeah, we're off on an eight mile walk. So, we'll take you guys with us, we'll take some water with us. Unless you've drunk it all. Well, Don't drink all this that. This is the last bottle. We're calling it shop on the other. Hmm. Let's go. Right, so this is the start of our eight mile. I don't know it's eight mile. Have we, have eight we... and a half mile. <laughs> Wait a minute, we found the time. Eight mile walk. We're starting on Pebbly Beach. 11.54 in the morning. The tide's going out, thank goodness. Can we get down to actually beach so we can walk on beach? You can, it's a bit wet. Instead of pebbles. I reckon... Three hours if we take, if we do a Three hours, bloody hell. How many coffee stops on way? Only one. Ooh. Oh, no, two oh, that's better on beach. Oh. <sighs> Are we almost there? I can't even see where we're going. All right, let's do this. What we stopped for? We stopped to show you the cliff erosion from the other side. We always film it on the top. So we show you that bit where, where it's almost beveling down. That's the fence that's hanging over. And that's the end. What we always show you. And that's the bit where the crack yeah. in the corner there. So that all that bit there is the bit that's got the huge crack that's going to fall, and then the golf course is kind of all here. So we're about 100 yards in, and we're already bored, eh? aren't we? No, but I could do with a drink, a cup of tea and a biscuit. Oh, I'd love a biscuit. Biscuit and a beer. Are we there yet? Are we there? Six miles to go. Oof. We've done just over two. <sighs> We're very close to the cliff edge. Smaller cliff. <laughs> Where's this ice cream stop you promised me? We passed it. Eh? We passed it. Which one? The one I said Mr. Moon's up there. Oh. Well, there's Fraysthorpe Beach, which has got the cow shed, which is where we went in a vlog the other week. That's, that's on the beach, we can go there, but that's another hour away. Eesh. Right, let's get a move on then. Let me have a look. See my best route. Deep and wide. Here, there's lots of. Yeah, but look where you look. What's beyond it? Just trust me. Right, let me go first. <laughs> um, uh, can't walk with the wet feet. Um, <laughs> um I'm gonna go this way because you seem to be a bit stuck. Yeah, this way's better. Um, um, over here, and then here. Oh no, I'm gonna get absolutely drenched. If I could just jump over that, but maybe not. Yeah. Go on then. Go on then. Hurry up. Easy peasy. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy peasy. Now we're going to get across this. This should be easy. This one's easy. Uh. 
Ta da! Right, that's right. the small river. Let's get to that. What? That's the small river. Uh, There's another one further down here. Joy. <sighs> Building. So we're going to there. That white building there. there better be an ice cream store. We need hip replacements, don't we? No, I just need ice cream. Maybe a uh, lager. Pie lager. Toasted current tea cake and an ice cream. And I'm set. I'm severely dehydrated. I've got a headache. My hips are killing. You're not on a desert island, you know. Yeah, I've got water in the back. Oh. You see the chalets? We're almost back. We've literally got 50 yards of sand and then we're back onto tarmac after eight and a half miles, three and a half hours of walking. We're about to leave the beach. Ready? This is a big moment. It's a big moment. Ready? Ready? Why's the ice cream back? Unfortunately, it's another half mile walk. I think I might need a little bit down the bench. That sounds like a good idea. We're I think we're in the reach of an ice cream drink. We found a cafe oh. that does chips and ice creams and... Well. Yeah. I want chips. <laughs> Roof Terrace Cafe. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Um, are you there or not bother? No. You can have that one then. Okay. Hello guys, bit of a change of scene from the last scene. We were in Bridlington having an ice cream and now we are at home. That was four days ago. Yeah. I've had my hair cut, so has Nick. Me too. Um, so we did our 12 and a half mile walk. Ooh, it's very killer. Okay. We had a bit of a crisis. We uh, thought we were going to get a bus back and we discovered when we got there there weren't any buses. Mm -hmm. So our good friend Ari and Sarah dropped everything and came and picked us up. Yes. We so know. we're home now. We came home on Sunday. It's Tuesday night. Thanks for that Ari and um, Sarah. So when we got home on Sunday there was a bit of a surprise waiting for us wasn't there? There was a bit of a surprise waiting for us. And Lee was very surprised because mm. he didn't know anything about it. And um, I'd arranged it. And here's this. Ta-da! Uh, another Simba mattress because we miss it so, so much well. when we're at the lodge. We're actually um, got one for home. Yes, yeah, so I'll tell you a bit of a story behind this. Obviously, if you've been watching us, you know that we like Simba products. We've got a Simba mattress at the lodge. We absolutely think it's the best mattress you could ever have. So, when we come home for the few days that we're at home to look after our business and what we had a really nice mattress at home, but it actually feels now like we are lying on stone. Yes. Compared to it was Simba. nice. It was the best mattress ever mm -hmm. until we tried the Simba. Yeah. And now the Simba is the best mattress ever, yeah. and the one upstairs now has got to go. And I can't just get, I can't get comfy on this mattress anymore because I'm so used to the Simba. I know, and it retains some heat and all. When you get out of that one upstairs, it goes cold instantly. This so we got holds one. the heat. So we got one for home. Shall I um, just go up ahead of you and show the viewers? This is another bit of a look at what you don't usually get to see. It's our house, not the lodge. It's our house. Come on, hurry up! There's one thing about this thing. Is it went above each The best thing about, well, one of the best things about the Simbas is you can get them up and down though, into any room. Because God knows how we're going to get our old mattress. Yeah, thanks for your help. Oh, well, I, I'm vlogging, you see. Well, have you never heard of a tripod? Do you think he's doing a good uh, job there, Lodgers? <sighs> and uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already to become part of the Lodge gang and become a Lodger. Or a Patreon! Check out our Patreon feed on the link below. <laughs> so. That, I don't think you've ever seen that before, is our bedroom at home. So it does need doing out, uh, but because we're at the lodge so much, we don't bother. But that is um, what we have above our bed. So we've got to remove this mattress, the old mattress. So obviously that ain't going to be quite as easy as moving the Simba. Ooh. Finally. I want a gin after this. So we've got rid of the old mattress, it's out there, God knows where it's going. Please ignore all the stuff that we've discovered under the bed, like old clothes, hot water bottles, and things that's been there for years and years. Nick is going to open the Simba. Nick's going to get his breath back first. Oh, that Simba pack, there's a, there's a cutter in there, if you want to get that out for me. Wake up to a bed tomorrow. 
in here we have one mattress five layers of comfort that shows you all the um the layers check out our previous videos for that you get the simba cutter for um to cut open the actual bag of the mattress can you not use the cutter for that you know the plastic cutter Oh, I can't wait to sleep on this tonight. I've, we've been at home for two days because we've been really busy this week at work and I've hated sleeping in our old mattress. So, I've got to make sure that I get it on here and ride with it. That would help that I'm filming. So that's what your mattress comes like if you're going to buy a Simba. Where's my cutter? What do you think to our lights around the, the TV guys? Lodges. Nick built this. What's it called? It's called a floating wall. Floating wall. Which kind of it's raised away from the, the wall and then lights put around. And then some chappy blue lights. But we usually have them on, on um You can have them any colour you want. Yeah, any colour you want. We don't usually have it on blue. So are you ready with the cutter? I am. So this will happen quickly. If I remember it like from last time. Oh yeah, it just kind of expands, doesn't it? You know, you've got. How do you know you've got it the right way around? I haven't. You don't know. I haven't got it the right way around. Mm. Well, where's the Simba uh, thing? Right, hold on. Is that definitely the top? Yeah. So what size is this? It's Super King, isn't it? Super King. Yeah. So I'm not just saying this because the same guy sent us some free stuff once. It's so easy to put this mattress in, isn't it? I mean, that's it. Then you just kind of wait for it. Right. And it, so it looks like that when you open it, but it, it will be expanding what it already. It's flat, compressed, it's machine compressed, and then takes about two hours to expand and by the time I even finish this it's probably going to be at full size. Right so just get this out. There we go. So we've just got to wait now for that to expand. And just got... So we'll come back in two hours. Two hours? Or up to two hours. Are we fully inflated? Near enough. It was kind of like down there when it, when it started, wasn't it? How long has that taken? Um, about an hour. Mm. And it feels very much like the lodge now. Woo -woo. No twanging springs. Oh, smell, tell you something. Smells nice too. I'll tell you something. Watch this. Set, it's Watch got this. that rubber smell, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I remember when we unpacked it at the lodge, it had the rubber smell, but it didn't last two no. minutes. No. Let's see if my hand makes a, a, thing, a hand print. No. No, it can, it just it, it adapts to your body, but then it springs, springs back. back. Well, well it's got two and a half thousand springs in it. Yeah, but you can't feel any of them in your back. It's no. just so comfortable. Ah, right, put bedding on and uh, let me know when it's all done. Ah, so the bed's made. But all simbered. It's all yellow, I think, because of the light in here. We have very dim lights in our bedroom. So I'm going to close this vlog now, guys. So thanks for watching our walk along the beach up to Bridlington. We're still recovering. Yeah. And um, if you um, like the look and sound of a Simba mattress, check out the link below in the description for £50, 50 pound off, off a um, Simba mattress. And don't forget you can try them for 100 nights and send them back if you don't like them. If you're not a subscriber already, please click the subscribe button below to become part of the Lodge Gang and a Lodger. Uh, hit the like button, um, share with all your friends, and um, click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our future videos. See you next time on the Lodge Guys. Bye. Goodbye.